So I've got this lovely little wild area in the, the garden here. And just here, probably somewhere around here, I'm going to create a bug hotel. So I've collected all my materials. You can see them all dotted around here. But the first thing I need to do is to clear the area and level the ground. So we'll do that first. Right, so now we've got the, the area cleared a little bit, the most important thing that we need to do now is to make sure that the first bricks that go down are lovely and level. So we'll do that next. And it's worth taking a bit of time with this first one. just to make sure that we get everything nice and level because it will make the rest of the construction a lot easier. So it's looking pretty good there. little bit off level so we need to move that around a little bit do it with a bit of soil back there that should help level us back up Now we've done that, we can start by filling underneath. So I think what I'm going to put under there is, let's go for let's go for a mixture of pine cones. There's any gaps at this stage because you can fill them in later. Back there. And then we're going to fill the rest of the gaps with some hay. Put quite nicely. Pack it all in. That's good. Now that we've done that, pop the, the first layer on, we're ready to build the rest of the layers. Right then, let's get building.
So here's the, the Finnish Bug Hotel. You see all the different layers. So we start off with the first layer, which is just pine cones and meadow hay. Then on the next layer, we've got broken tiles, roof tiles. Then we've got some cut twigs and logs. Then the next layer is some slate that I had laying around the garden. And then the top layer here is some more logs with some bamboo in there as well. And then right on the top, we've got a planter made out of some old decking. We've filled it with some soil and all we've got left to do now is to sow some wildflower seeds in there and then we're ready to rock and roll. So now that the construction of the bug house is finished, all we've got to do now is sow the wildflower seeds on the top here. Now I've got a couple of different types. I've got these ones here. These are from Grow Wild, but I've also got some seed balls. Now seed balls are, let me open the tin and show you. I don't know if you can see them there. They're little balls of clay mixed with wildflower seeds and a little bit of chili, just to give them a kick to hopefully deter some of the birds and other animals that might eat the seeds. But the idea is with these, you just grab them and scatter them around on the soil, randomly over the soil, just like this, and then leave them. And the idea is that when it rains, or if you water them, the clay will gradually break down, and then the seeds will germinate, and then the flowers will grow. Alternatively, you could use the Grow Wild seeds. Now they come in a little sachet, and if I open this up, you'll be able to see, let's have a look here, you can see they're all different shapes and sizes. You don't need many of these, particularly in the, the area that we've got there. That's probably enough. What we'll do is just sprinkle those over the area and then we'll just rub the soil over them like that and we'll give it a water and then as soon as that's done we'll just leave it and then hopefully in a few weeks we'll start to see the shoots come up and then eventually we'll have lots of wildflowers on there. Well that's another bug hotel finished in the garden. Hopefully that's inspired you and given you a few ideas of how you can create one in your own garden. All that's left to do now is to tidy up this lot.